All right, man, how do I start this video? So, look, I know Kanye West has been a very hot topic recently, right? I mean, uh, people have all kinds of opinions on what's going on right now, from him just having a, a mental breakdown and untreated mental health issues that have basically carried over to Twitter. Some people believe that he's just, you know, promoting his album, I guess, with these rants and whatnot. And, and some people just believe that it might be a mix of both, I guess. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I think that regardless, we can all pretty much agree that Kanye West needs some help. I mean, Kanye ha has already been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He's already announced in the past that when he's working on music and whatnot, he doesn't take his medication because he believes that it stifles his creative process. He he's described his mental illness as having a superpower and things like that. And you know what? Maybe that's true. Maybe that helps lead into the genius of Kanye West. Because, as I've said before, you can say whatever you want. Kanye West is one of the most influential artists in music history at this point. He's created a multi-billion dollar clothing industry. He's essentially saved the gap because, I mean, their stock was doing terrible until he basically announced the Yeezy Gap collection or whatever. He's influenced many probably of your favorite artists at this point. It, it just, it, it's pretty hard to try and make the argument that Kanye West is not a creative genius. But when it comes down to it, the kinds of things that he's been saying and doing, they're screams for help. And I'm, I'm probably going to be a bit passionate in this video to keep it a buck because Kanye West is one of my biggest influences in my life. His music has literally changed my life in a lot of different ways. I am a very big fan of Kanye, but being a fan of him doesn't mean that I can't see that there's something behind the scenes going on that needs to be addressed. Now, Kanye went on one of his trademark Twitter rants uh, early this morning, and honestly, it just, it, it's sad because like you read through this and it's clear that, you know, there's things going on behind the scenes. It, it's not just Kanye wilding out on Twitter and that's the end of it, right? There, he's got personal relationship issues with his wife, with her family, potentially issues with his kids, all kinds of different things, okay? And him being a rich person, I don't think really excuses the fact that all of this is happening, okay? You can be rich and still have problems. So, I mean, uh, I guess we'll just start out with this one here. Chris and Kim put out a statement without my approval. That's not what a wife should do. White supremacy. Obviously, a, a pretty uh, outlandish tweet, to put it at its best, I guess, here. Uh, so, you're going to notice throughout these tweets, throughout this rant, that he apparent he seems to have a lot of issues with Kim Kardashian, his wife and her family, and I guess their handling of this whole situation. Because, you know, Kanye West, for a f it, it, I don't even know how long at this point, right? With, with the presidency, the candidacy and whatnot, and all of the rants and whatever, you know, people have been talking about how, oh, he's going through another episode. And at this point, I think it's getting pretty apparent that there's something going on here. But he's, he's very apparently got something going on with that side of the family. And it's affecting him pretty deeply. I mean, you gotta kinda understand them, I guess, putting out a statement without his approval that would upset him, right? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody really likes being spoken for, right? I, I wouldn't want someone in my family coming out and making a fucking statement on my behalf about something either. That's not how things like that should work. Would I consider it white supremacy? Probably not, but it's very clearly affecting him. And then it, it, it continues, okay? So, white supremacy at its highest, no cap. Texting with somebody named Chris, assuming we all can kind of figure out who that is in this whole situation. This yay, you ready to talk now, or are you still avoiding my calls? This yay, you want to talk or go to war? Now, of course, like, we really don't even know the backstory behind all this, right? We, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes besides, of course, what Kanye, I guess, is bringing out. And in a lot of ways, I feel like this is just him kind of venting out the frustration of what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm going to talk about the Kardashians plenty here in a minute. So, MJ told you about Tommy before they killed him. Kim saved my daughter's life in the name of Jesus. It's God's choice only. I live for my children. Chris, I'm in Cody if you're not planning another one of your children's Playboy shoots. Come and get me. Larsa. In Jesus' name, no more cap. Drake. Should I name more? So, at this point, man, he's just kind of, it seems like, I guess, uh, just 
pulling the bag out on everyone, you know what I'm saying? Just magician pulling the bunny out of the hat or whatever, just, you know, pulling names out. I, I'm not sure what, like, Larsa and Drake have to do with anything. Drake and Kanye have had, like, a kind of public feud at this point for a little while. It's kind of brewed, uh, bre bleh, brewed for a while. I'm not sure if, if he's addressing any situation uh, with that. They tried to fly in with two doctors to 5150 me. I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Meek at the World Dolph for, quote, prison reform. I got 200 more to go. This my lady tweet of the night, Chris Jong-un. Lil Baby's my favorite rapper, but won't do a song with me. Now, this is like the biggest tweet of it all. I mean, the accusation of them trying to 5150 him, which I'll explain in a second, saying he's trying to get a divorce from Kim Kardashian, uh, basically accusing her of cheating on him with Meek Mill, the rapper, calling Chris, uh, Chris Jong-un, which I gotta say, I mean, not to make light of the situation as a joke or anything, but he, he kinda nailed that one. Like, that's, that's a pretty good one. And then, like, the, the blatant and call out to Lil Baby. So this one is the one that I think is really getting the most press because of the whole, you know, I, I guess the aura around it, what's being said in it. But I'm going to speak more on this in particular here in a second. So Meek is my man and was respectful. That's my dog. Kim was out of line. I'm worth $5 billion and more than that through Christ. But y'all ain't listening to MJ and now y'all believe him, says the future president. So I... I mean, I think it's very apparent that Kanye is, is struggling with mental illness. I, I mean, it just, it doesn't really seem like this is something that he would, I would say, put out in a normal state of mind, I guess. Because believe it or not, Kanye West, he actually is in a normal state of mind sometimes. And he seems a lot more, like, measured and grounded when he's in that. And then, of course, there's situations like this. So, when it comes down to him trying to divorce Kim Kardashian, okay, and the whole situation with that family, let's keep it a buck fucking fifty here, okay? The Kardashians and that family, they literally embody the toxicity of Hollywood. That family is essentially a caricature of Hollywood. Being in that family has to be one of the most toxic experiences possible for a person, and being around those kinds of people can't be good for somebody like Kanye. Because at the end of the day, he's struggling enough, and then he's got to fucking deal with all of this on top of it. At a certain point, I gotta say, if I were in his shoes right now, I probably would be doing the same thing. I genuinely hope Kanye gets away from the Kardashians. For his own sake, and in reality, also just to kind of make a point. Because of course, I don't know if Kim Kardashian did cheat on him or not. Would I be surprised at this point? Probably not. But it's clear that that family is fucking with his mental health to a certain extent. And, and if you don't know what a 5150 is, okay, basically it's almost like a clause, okay, where if someone is considered to be like a threat to themselves or to other people because of like mental health or whatever, uh, it's possible to get doctors to basically force you into like a psych ward or into therapy or something for at least 72 hours. So, if Kanye is to be believed here, and to keep it honest, I 100% believe him when he says this because it just makes sense. Basically, they, as in Kim Kardashian and the family and whatever, basically tried to get two doctors to come to Kanye and force him into mental health care, okay? Now, I do think that he has mental health issues that need to be treated, but I don't really think honestly, that Kanye is a threat to himself or others at this point. I just think that he's extremely frustrated with the situation that he's in, and I think that a lot of it really does have to do with Kim Kardashian, okay? And, of course, like, she's not to blame for him having these problems, but I'm assuming her behavior and that fucking family in general, which is literally just Hollywood celebrities making reality television shows built completely out of plastic, no character or moral whatsoever, I'm assuming that they probably exacerbate the situation pretty severely. And when it comes down to it, man, Kanye is getting called crazy. People are like, they, they, people make jokes about this shit. And it really isn't funny. You know what I'm saying? And that's what gets me about this online culture, right? Because let's get this straight right here, okay? Especially on like Twitter, the same fucking people who, who preach suicide awareness, mental health awareness, depression and anxiety awareness, being considerate of other people and what they're going through are the same exact people who are making fun of Kanye West, are the same fucking people who are on here making jokes at his expense, the same people on here in his comments dogging him, the same people literally going on all of his tweets and making fun of him, the same exact people who basically preach all of this holier-than-thou shit any other time are now the ones who suddenly 
have no backing with that situation, no backing with any of those principles, now that it's somebody that they don't like. Now that it's a celebrity that they can target. Because, personally, I, I think it's quite obvious that we're witnessing a man going through something very severe. Going through something that needs to be addressed. But all these people who any other time would preach that that's what we need to do. We need to find help for Kanye. We need to support Kanye. They're the people making fun of him right now. And, and that's what I love about social media, man. That absolute fucking hypocrisy that everyone spouts on this. And am I immune from it? No. I'm only human. But when it comes down to it, and you see a situation like this, you would think it'd be pretty easy to follow the same shit that you preach. But apparently, no, that's not the case. Apparently people, all of a sudden, I mean, let's keep it a buck. For a lot of these people, if this were Ariana Grande, if this were Billie Eilish, some K-pop celebrity, some, like, mega star that isn't Kanye West, they would be there supporting him. They would be all over this, talking about how it needs to be an example for mental health, and how it needs to be handled and addressed and cared for. But the thing is, is Kanye is such a polarizing figure, and so many people don't like him, that when he's going through this, now it's a fucking joke. Now he's just promoting an album. Now, let's make a point, not for him, but against him. And I refuse to be a part of that. I, I refuse to support that. Because at the end of the day, making fun of Kanye West is not helping him. Making fun of him and, and shitting on him in his comments through this situation and, and making, you know, this big spectacle out of him for fucking likes on Twitter so you can feel good because you made a joke at someone else's expense, I'm not going to get behind that. Because, sure, while of course, you know, this is something that happens every day to people and that needs to be addressed as well. This situation here is serious, okay? I don't think people understand how big of a deal mental illness really is. You know how many people a year kill themselves because of the things that they're dealing with in their personal lives? Do, do you know what kind of things people go, go through behind the scenes? I, I hate to say this, but just think of Robin Williams, okay? One of the most beloved, you know, Hollywood figures of all time. One of the funniest people I can think of, you know? Made so many people happy, but guess what happened, right? He couldn't make himself happy, he couldn't find happiness in his own life, and he killed himself. Kurt Cobain, one of the most influential artists of all time. The literal face child for a subgenre of music, okay? The poster child, I should say. Guess what, guess what happened to him? And you know, this kind of stuff is a tragedy, and it's something that needs to be addressed, but now that it's Kanye, all of a sudden those people have just fucking disappeared. So, shame on you, you know? Honestly, if you're going to say, hey, we should take this seriously, then take it seriously, because, I mean, it, it's pretty visible, at least as, to me, that this is something that should be taken seriously by people, and just because he's a celebrity doesn't mean that it, it's something that shouldn't be taken seriously. So, I'm hoping Kanye West can get help. I, I don't know if forcing him into it is the best approach, because, I mean, when you're dealing with people who are mentally ill, it, it's probably not the best thing to corner them and make them feel fucking trapped and secluded. That's probably not a good idea. I think it's best if someone talks to him and actually encourages him to find it in himself to go and seek help. And all the Hollywood bullshit that the Kardashian family and the rest of it brings is not something that someone like this needs. Am I an expert? No. This is just my opinion. But I think, honestly, it's pretty reasonable. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Uh, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subtoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Standing up for Kanye West and signing out.